Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station, where I give in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, both new and old. Mostly LEGO, but other products as well. I also do discussions and reviews of other creative works, such as movies, cartoons, and video games. Today, we will be evaluating this. It's Kai's Blade Cycle. That's the front. Here's the back. It's a uh, four plus set. Um, and uh, it's set number 71734. Uh, has 54 pieces and retails for $9.99. And can be found right now, as the recording in this video, on the LEGO website. Now, this was actually came out last year, and it kind of was underneath my radar. Um, it came out with the 2021 rave, which I thought I had done all of them, but realized actually towards the end of doing it that I had missed the set. Uh, it's a smaller set, and I hadn't seen it in stores for a while, and even when I was doing it, I couldn't find it online. Um, I was right around Christmas time. Most of the stuff was uh, sold out. Um, so when it came back in, I did pick it up, and I'm going to be adding it to my playlist and the overall thing. Now it's it's not on the uh, not going to be on my um, uh, top ten um, for the this wave, but that's okay. Um, I could tell you right now it's not last. Um, I don't know where I'd put it, but the last one was the the boat, and that's a four plus set also. And, well, we'll discuss that more later, but I have a feeling this ranks higher than that. And, uh, so, let's go check it out and put it together. Here we have the contents of the box. We have one instruction booklet. Not too thick. Um, find out what it looks like on the inside. And no sticker sheet, but we have only one bag. Or... Well, we have two bags, one big bag, and one little bag. And that is it. Here are what pieces we have for this set. Not too many, it's a small set. Um, these are interesting. I think these are probably just for four plus sets, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen them on anything else. Um, got four tires, even though we have a motorcycle. They uh, double them up, make them extra thick. We got our figures here. We got two of these gold swords, which is kind of nice. I don't know if we'll have any left over. Um, guy, snake guy. Um, we have this beautiful printed piece here. Really like this. Uh, I'm glad it's a print. I mean, four plus sets are always prints and never stickers, but never care much for stickers. I know. I'm lame. This is probably the most interesting thing in this set. Yellow pins. And I tested them. They are the same friction level as the blue pins. They're not like the friction black pins, but different colored pins means Lego can and will do it they need to do it a lot more um yeah so that that's a very interesting other than that some more small kibble it's a small set shouldn't take too long to put together there it is the lone extra part all by itself this is all that we had left not too uncommon with the four plus sets, but this is actually a very important piece, a very good piece, because it is a pin that isn't blue. And you could use it, you know, to replace all those blue pins and things that uh, stick out like a sore thumb. 
I think yellow, even if it doesn't match whatever the model is, is a more subdued color or would blend in better with some other colors rather than a bright blue. Uh, uh, it's more natural color, I guess you could say. But uh, if you weren't paying attention, there is a total of six of these in this set. Uh, so if you need them, this is a good parts set to get. We have our two characters here. One good guy, one bad guy. Kai and a snake man. They got these weapons and they're uh, they're not gray they're a slight silver color which is kind of cool um but i like these older snake guys opposed to the newer kind of more highly maybe realistic snake men um but I, I i like these older guys and always happy to see them that being said I'm not really happy because there is, you see his, his cowl headpiece, a lot of them have had printing on them and he's got absolutely nothing on that cowl. Other than that, the printing looks good, you know, it's got some nice detail on the legs and we'll look at the back here, just a second, I'll flip it around, but yeah, there's nothing on the, the headpiece on that, which is a little disappointing. Here they are stripped down, and uh, actually Kai is, you know, nothing new. We, uh, I think this is the same style I've had throughout the whole uh, Legacy line. Um, turn on the back. He's got a second printing on his face, on his back. Um, goofy face. And But Snake Guy just has this snake scaly pattern, which... I'm surprised I didn't have anything on the cow, like I said before. Um, but then it's kind of funny that they actually put it on the skull. Uh, or, you know, the back of the head like that. Uh, both of these have some decent printing. Though this this is not, you know, quite as fanciful and, and uh, detailed as his gi over there. Kai's gi. Um... But there's something I do like. Well, I don't know how to put this. Uh, but uh, the most recent wave, the core wave, has more simplistic looking geese. And the bad guys look very stylized. I think that this style here should have been more what they should have been going for with the bad guys and they would have matched much better. Let's see if I can grab a figure, uh, one of the new figures real quick and we'll check them out together. Okay, so I grabbed Cole. He was the closest one I could find. I was hoping to get another Kai, but uh, I didn't. But as you can see, you see the much more simple design to, the, to their gi. Matches well with the more simple design of the snake guy here. Looking on the back as well. I think these would have looked much better than what we ended up getting. I mean, they still could have um, gone with the, the newer snake heads and, and done some stuff with that. They just needed to tone down the detail. <laughs> I know that's a terrible thing to say. Uh, but it's not the detail, it's the style. And... This has a much more simplistic style than the the bad guys in that set. While this is also a similar, simpler style. And I think they would have looked much better. Um, like I said, they wouldn't have to use the uh, the, the older headpieces and, and things. They could have done something different with the, the new heads as well. But that's um, an interesting thought I had while getting this set. I've, looked at some more of these. They probably had um, one of the other uh, legacy sets, but I, I didn't think about it at the time. Well, yeah, I didn't think about it at the time because the uh, course sets hadn't been out yet. <laughs> Here we have everything and it is assembled and put together. 
Uh, we're going to look at each uh, little build separately. Not that there's very many of them, including our little thing right there. Thought we'd get a nice good action scene here with this driving by and the snake bushwhacking him. Um, see here, this rolls really well despite having four wheels. <laughs> uh, but we'll look, take a closer look at that. First, let's start off with the snake. The snake in the hole, I'll we'll call it. It's not much to this, you know, two by four ground piece, the, the little architecture piece there, and stuck the snake in there. Uh, yeah, very small, but nice little, uh, you know, flavor to the set. Uh, give it some environmental things, including a little home for the snake. Maybe this is this guy's, uh, the snake guy's pet. I don't know. But, yeah, it's just something simple. Here we have the snake guy's little ambush um, setup he's got going on here with this bit of camouflage and protective barrier. Um, now he's got his spear all ready to throw, but not only that, he has this little catapult, really small, but works pretty good. I uh, got a good arc. Yes. I landed well off screen here. I can't quite see. But that, that's that's good enough for just these this little motorcycle and this guy trying to you know ambush him. Um I'm not quite sure what he's supposed to be firing. These are some transparent yellow cylinder pieces. That's poisonous or something else. And there's a second one over here. The instructions show it loose, uh, but uh, I stuck it on there just so it wouldn't get lost. But there he is. It's a simple build. It's effective. It has more play value to the set. Can't go wrong with that. Here we have the main attraction, the motorcycle. Oh, it's small, but it's chunky. Uh, not sure what to think about it. Um, I looked up the original set, which I don't have. Um, and I would say that it was a good representation of it, a lot smaller, um, but it was a chunky motorcycle too. Maybe not, well, technically it is probably this wide, but a lot longer. Uh, but, uh, it, it, it's not bad looking, a little cartoony, but, uh, you know, they have some nice detailing using some unique pieces, or pieces in unique ways anyways. Like these, these are gold teeth pieces in here, making these little things along the side and simple. I really love the print on that front piece. Really love that. Um, and uh, rolls really well on these. Uh, these, uh, shove that out of the way. Yeah, plenty of. Uh, frictionless movement there. Um, you got some places you could do some things like there's no place for his weapon but you could put a little single stud clip on any of these parts and put a place for his weapon there. Um, these are not really supposed to be weapons but I mean you could turn that around and you, know, you go by and <laughs> chop somebody up. In fact, that looks better like that. I like that better. The blades facing backwards. Uh, those are those nice uh, golden dragon katanas. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't wield them. They're just decoration for the motorcycle. Um, the chassis they used to make this the, the, is really rather unique. And it, it does a job, good job here. I mean... I don't know. It's, it's, it's I, I wouldn't think such a thick motorcycle, these, these double wheels would look that good, but it comes out okay. And, you know, a lot, a lot of these four plus sets look like a chibified version of the vehicle they're supposed to be, or a chibified vehicle. And that's okay. And this looks all right. I'm very happy with it. Um, a lot of kids would probably have fun playing with it as well. Rolls good and everything else. Plus you got the snake eye over there to add some story to your your adventure. 
Let's go back to the desk and give it a final eval. Oh yeah, back at the desk here to give this a final eval. Um, I like this set, just the overall thoughts. It's small, it's simple, it's still good. All right, so, appearance. Well, this is based off of the original blade um, cycle, which you can see up here. Now, there is a second set that came out later. It is a blade cycle and uh, Zane's snowmobile, something like that. Um, I don't think this is based off that one. I think it's based off the original. Um, it looks pretty accurate to what it's supposed to be for, you know, a 4 plus small set. Uh, I, I love the looks. It's, it's a bit chunky. But somehow works. And, you know, you can lean it. It still rolls. Even though it's big and chunky. Um, or you can just, you know, leave it lay on its side look like it's turning. Um, but it also stands by itself really well. That's those double wheels, of course. If it wasn't for them, it probably wouldn't be like a smaller bicycle. Um, I really kind of like it. It looks really nice. So, and it, this looks fine. I mean, they're, they're just kind of the practical looking. There's nothing amazing about the, their looks. This is a wall. Uh, a, a catapult and a guy behind it, you know, it's simple, works, doesn't look stunning or amazing, but, you know, it has some nice foliage, so, they, they, you know, they did some, put something into it. The little snake set's just kind of cute. I said, I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a pet or what. Uh, but as far as appearance is going to get, it's going to get a nine. Um, I, the only thing I'm sort of complaining about, and not too much, is I wish they could have just somehow had a, a single wheel in here. But I don't think they've got anything thick enough and small enough, thick and small at the same time, to uh, do that. Well, maybe they could have just used the double wheel in the back, because you don't see it as much, and then put it... A single wheel in the front something to think about uh, but uh, other than that you know I like I said really like this set it's uh, and it looks great all right now it's function I showed earlier this thing rolls really well it's a motorcycle it does its job it's got these blades that can come out giving it its name the blade cycle I'm sure uh, it, it's a simple thing that it does. It's just a simple hinge. There's no trigger or anything, which would be cool, but not possible in such a year. It's something this small. Maybe that's what the original Blade Cycle did. Don't know. I don't have it, like I said. I do like Ninjago motorcycles. I know there's controversy about people complaining they're too big and chonky and everything else. But, eh, whatever. To each their own, you know? I like them. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if the blades pop out of that one or not, but probably that's what the name's for. Um, then really only functioning thing is you have is this catapult, and it works good. Very simple design. It, Legos used many times for a simple small catapult. Um, it's always fun. Some of their bigger catapults, and those can really fire off. I haven't seen anything recently. Like they used to make that stuff for the castle sets back in the day. We don't get castle sets anymore, so no catapults except for some simpler things like this. Um, other than that, there's not really much to talk about function. Um, but what it does is it does well, and I gave it a 9. Um, fun. This sun is fun is so much fun here. You've got one good guy, one bad guy. I should consider this little snake, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
one good guy, one bad guy. They both have a build, the motorcycle's slightly bigger, but I think that with this having a launching mechanism and stuff, it you know gives it a nice balance. Um, you definitely have the ambush situation going on here. Um, snake thing's cute. It just is this little snake peeking out there. Um, but yeah, so there, there's plenty of fun to be had here. Uh, different levels, different levels, because I did enjoy building these, even though there wasn't much to this build. Um, it, it was fun, and uh, maybe a little bit less so with that. That was that gets the point. It's too simple. Uh, but for fun, I gave it a ten. It's definitely a great fun set to have. Now. Techniques, there's nothing amazing here. Just Like I said, this is fairly simple. There is some nifty little uh, things they did just to give this thing more detail, you know, with the, the teeth here along the side and uh, some of the other stuff. So, you know, it, it's nothing amazing um, overall. Uh, but there, there was some nice, you know, attempts at giving this... It's more character. I mean, this piece alone gives us very much like, you know, there's another seat back here. Somebody could sit back there or something. Um, <clears throat> so, Technica, I, I gave it a 9. I know, you wouldn't think something so small. Uh, and that's the thing. If you get down to a poly bag, like, I don't... I, have, I haven't done any yet, but uh, I don't know how I'm going to go about judging it. They get so small, it's just like, what more do you, can you judge them by, by like and and building techniques for uh, something that's almost just a figure and a like like this this would be a, a poly bag right here say that I mean there's not much to talk about and what do you judge it on um, not much um, but th this has definitely got some big enough that there's something that going on here. So yeah, I gave Technique a 9. Uh, this brings our total added up and divided um, by 4. Gives us a 9.25 which we then raise to a 9.5 round up. Um, just because we round up <coughs> to the nearest 50 or nearest half. So yeah, 9.5 is its final eval grade now for price uh this this sort of things get sour but it's a four plus set and i'm still not sure where i should be judging prices on these four plus sets so I'm, as far as i'm concerned this is overpriced um it's only 10 bucks and that's the thing you can't get set smaller than 10 bucks unless they are a poly bag set so you know <laughs> They weren't so hard nosed into just putting their um, sets into a certain price bracket. It would be much better. Uh, but yeah, you do the math. Comes up to 18 cents per piece. That is pretty outrageous. Um, I'm not going to give this a fail. I'll give it a pass because, like I said, I really don't know how to judge these sets. I was thinking about it, you know, just looking at what we have here and thinking about it. And I was like, you know, $7.99 would be a good price. Seven, seven, eight dollars. And even then, it comes to 14 cents. But that's a little bit more reasonable and also, ex, you know, ex, is excusable for the larger pieces that they use for the vehicles. Like this bike is mostly just two pieces put together. Um, so, yeah, I I gave it a pass. I didn't fail it. Uh, but it is a really fun set, and that's another thing to consider. It's a really fun set. There's some great pieces in here. I discussed in my pieces the the, there are yellow pins. Something you don't see is 
other colors besides blue and black. Black is usually for the friction ones, and blue is for the uh, not so friction ones. <laughs> the uh, smooth ones. Yeah, but the non friction ones. Um, so, yeah, that gives our overall rating a 9.5. Uh, pass. I do really like this set. I don't love the price. But, you know, the amount of fun you can have with this, and this kind of offsets the poor price. But this looks good. It, it, it's got lots of, uh, you know, potential for fun and um, activity just here in what you get inside the box. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm giving it a pass. Um, so, yeah, 9.5p is the final score and uh, I don't hate four plus sets I like this one I don't like their prices that that's for sure I know I, I narked really hard on the uh, the uh, uh, the other four plus set that was in this wave the the, the final final flight of destiny's bounty it looked bad it, that's that's what it mostly came down to. It it still was decent for our playset because there's plenty of places to play on it and play with it and story, etc. But it looked really bad, and I, I don't mind that these are kind of cartoony because they have that appeal. The ship just did not have that appeal, and it. it I think just simply comes down to them trying to make a big, a really big set into something like this. Now you can do a micro scale, and the micro scale would look better than what we got with the the four plus set. Um, I think that just was the wrong type of thing to do. They can make bigger sets. They don't have to always make small vehicles. Although the small vehicles are great and fun, and also keeps even though they are more expensive per piece it keeps like that that destiny's bounty was 50 60 dollars i think 50 and i don't want to pay for that for an ugly looking ship um but the, the smaller vehicles that look good they still look good and they play well um that's fine and you know you could simply add more to the play set have a decent building. Like the building in that, that 4 plus set was fine. So, you know, I don't hate 4 plus sets. I just think they need to pick, be a little bit more careful about what they do to make the 4 plus sets. This is good. I did another one. I did this season, uh, the core wave, I, the more recent core wave. I did the Lloyd's mech, and that one was decent looking too. So it, it, it's not. It's it's not always a bad thing to have four plus sets. Um, so that being said, I uh, going to mind you if you haven't yet to please subscribe and of course always like the video if you enjoyed it. You could dislike it. I don't mind either. I can usually figure out how many dislikes I have, but only if you dislike it. Um, but also, if you do dislike it, please leave comments. I want to try to improve these. My channel. There's only limited I can do on a limited budget, but you know, some feedback will help me get that, those, that done as well. It might get put in a list of things to do later when I have more funding for it. Um, but it'll. It'll help. Um, also, just you know, comment, please, and, and let's start up some discussion about this. What do you think of four plus sets? What do you think of this little, cute little motorcycle that's sort of chonky, too? I know some people don't like the chonky motorcycle. Some people, I suppose some people, I, I hear them. They're the most vocal. Um, I, myself, have no problems with the chonky motorcycle. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. And even though it's chunky, you can still, like, lean it on its side. You know, to each their own, of course. Um, 
But yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. Um, the Legacy line, which is what this is part of, has been a bit interesting. Most of the sets are pretty good. The 4 plus sets are, you know, they're 4 plus sets. Um, the, the Destiny's Bounty, uh, that aside, the, the rest of them is, I'm going to get to the rest of that year's Legacy sets. I have all of them, I think, now. Um, I had to pick up one more, um, which I did. Um, but we will go over that a little bit later. I got some other things to work on. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And uh, I hope to be seeing you again soon. And reminding you that creativity is key.